Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. There's two kinds of foils you can use on your nails. I'm going to show you one of them today. Let's get started. So this is really easy to do. You can do this with your polish. You can do it with gel polish as well. But I thought I'd show you with nail polish. It's called Polish Secure when you do something with nail polish. Now this nail polish I just threw on, I wanted to put a nice bright royal blue and I grabbed this one. It's called Pure Ice. It's really hard to read. I hope you can get that camera, man. It's pretty dark. It is. It's a dark printing on a royal blue bottle. White would have been good in this case. And this number is 753 pure ice nail polish that's the brand name if you're interested in the color but you know any royal blue color that you got and that's why i'm doing this design is so you can do it on natural nails on polish so i've already applied two coats of the color because i really just want to show you how the foil works now i've got several different colors here i grab this one from the salon hard to open these things you can see this don't sneeze when you're working with this stuff it is so so thin this is two sheets i believe you don't have oily fingers either. Oh, it's got a little skin in between. Okay. I'm going to leave that, try to leave it in one piece. So I'm just going to lay that piece down there for a second. I'm going to paint this with top coat. I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to see if I can foil the whole pinky with that one piece. Because it's polished secure, just lay it down a nice thin coat of top coat. Now I'm going to pick this up, this foil piece. It's really neat. Looks like gasoline. I've got a fascination with gasoline, don't I? You do. So you can lay that on a whole nail. It's kind of a waste of it, but I'm. don't press too hard. I can see my... <laughs> <laughs> I actually say it for myself, sorry, but I do. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you need to warn a person. Warn a person. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Know if this will really work i've never really done this before actually i just got it, the idea when i saw it at the last minute so you probably see, need something a little sharp to sever near the cuticle without cat hair on it oh, i don't know if that'll work but you can always take another little piece and shove it in there seems like you're wasting a lot i am wasting a lot of it but you know you really don't have to waste it because look i can show you this is how I normally apply it, in just little bits, but when I saw it in that one chunk, I'm just, you know, spontaneously working here. I'm just on the fly. I just thought at the last minute I would try it. No, like I said, I've never done that before. As you can see, it's sticking to me skin. I love this stuff. It, it actually worked not too bad. Okay, I'll get that off the skin later. The reason why I have this little glass dish is because I usually get the foil out. Maybe I'll show a different color. Here's the gold. This is usually how it comes. And obviously you can find it like this. We used to get it more like this in the 80s. And then they started bringing this in about the late 90s already crinkled up for you. Look at that. It's so thin. And now this is what we do sort of in the dish. And that's why I got the clear dish here for you just to um, break it up on a hard surface. I usually do it on my glass, but it's too far away for you. And I just wanted to show you this. It looks like a mess, but it is actually kind of neat. It can make your nail look like a nugget, a little gold nugget. Being that it's polish secured, we're going to put a coat of clear polish. You can do it right on the wet color too, if you like, but that's already dried. clear coat. Is that a piece that got stuck on there already? What, what? That little yeah, it looks thing. like it did. It's probably, when you sneezed, it probably fell over there. It's very artful. Oh, you think you're... You, you know, I helped. Mm -mm. And then you take this, you lay it down, 
and you just crunch it in. And when you crunch it, it does give it that nuggety look, that gold. Nugget. Nougats for Nuggety? chocolate. Oh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I have more chocolate than I do gold. Now, I don't cover the whole nail when I'm doing this. Usually, I'll just go down like the side of the nail. Like this. It's just sort of the gold just sort of crawling down the side of the nail. We used to do this a lot in the 80s. You don't see it so much anymore, but it's a very neat effect. I did see it a few times. They're making it again, so somebody out there is doing it. It's just kind of fun way to jazz up your nail without too much work, you know? You just literally put it on wet nail polish. I will say this pure ice did dry pretty, just the polish part, did dry pretty darn quick. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so all I do is just make sure that I press it down so there's nothing kind of sticking up. Just want to keep it flat. Okay, so then I got this sparkly purple. This is the pure ice brand as well. I just grabbed this off the shelf. I think it was actually Walmart. I just thought I'd do a little accent nail because sometimes I get a little jiggy like that. Ooh, this is pretty. So I'm going to press it into this sparkly top layer. Okay, I'm going to stick with the same color. Maybe I'll do it at the tip. If you over press it and over stick it, it kind of looks... Mm. Over sticked? <laughs> yeah, over stucked. <laughs> It looks overdone. Oh, this piece sticking here. It does get everywhere. That's quite pretty. I'll just do a little bit up the side here. Don't want to overdo it. I could use this a little better, and then it won't poke into my polish. A lot of cat hair happening today. There's always cat hair. I told you you should have got a short-haired cat. No, I like my fluffy fellas. They're so cute. Especially the one with the attitude. He's good looking, but... He's adorable. But he can be ornery. <laughs> I'm gonna do a nice top coat on here. And just put some more on the next two fingers. It'll stick to, of course, anything sticky. And I wouldn't put the top coats all on first. Put them on as you go. Because if you have a top coat that's a pretty fast drying top coat, it could dry up before you get there. So just do it as you go. This is great if you're a nail technician to add this at the end of an appointment just to give a sophisticated look. If a client's in a hurry, it's pretty cheap to add on to your appointment. And if you're doing it yourself, you can see that it's pretty easy. You just need some polish, the foil, and a top coat. What was that tool you were using there? This I bought in Vancouver. I was just in a show in Vancouver, the ESI show. And they had this tool there, and I bought it. Kind of okay. handy. A plastic dotting tool? Yeah it's, got like a wa yeah, it's like a waxy on the end so I could pick up gems. Okay, I grabbed this at Nail District, my salon that I have, and I thought it was a little bit more blue, so I might try to put this on the, the thumb. It opened it first. Yeah, you can see it's got a little bit more blue than the pinky did. It might be just a different company. So I'm going to put a top coat. I gunk the thumb a little bit on the end so because I'm not perfect I'm gonna you can cover up your imperfections very sneakily maybe look better than I am I'm gonna stick some of that right where I messed it up fortunately it should look good there but 
yeah, there's a lot of blue in this one. It's kind of neat. I kind of like it just capped like that, but I can't stand it. I have to add some more. This is the creative decision you have to make if you're just going to overdo a design or not. I'm clearly taking that chance, aren't I? Gonna blow it. Gonna blow it. You know, it's so thin, it's like ashes. You know, ashes in a fire that float? That's what it's like. Just like this thin as floating ashes. Okay, now you don't want to just leave the foil on there. You need to seal it. Most designs, you don't want to cover the whole nail and then seal it because the sealant, the top coat clear, is just sitting on top of the design. It's not really attached to the nail, so it can come off quite a bit easier. But because this is so thin and you do have the clear layer between it, it just might seal fine. It's so thin, it just might soak through enough to be okay. So the other ones, you definitely want to seal it. Now it's only like 50%. It's sort of the general rule if you've got a lot of stuff on the nail. Try not to be more than 50% if it's something that just doesn't adhere without that top coat making it adhere very well. So you can see it's a bit of a busy look. It's pretty fancy. For me, I'd probably prefer maybe just to have like maybe an all one solid color and then just focus on maybe one accent finger. But for the pictures, I think that is gonna be quite beautiful. Let's check out those reveals. So the foil, if it wrapped around, just make sure you don't have any little scragglers underneath. You can just kind of press it into it. It's so thin, it'll just press right in. And then just scrape the last little bits off. Wow, that's pretty fancy. That is. I think it needs to go out. I think it needs to go out for dinner. I'm yeah. game. That sounds good. Let's go. <laughs> I've got another type of foiling I want to show you, but I'll save that for next video. I'll see you soon. Hey!